So we're going to do a quick discussion of scientific notation. When do we want to use it? What's the general form? Look at a couple of examples. So first question is, when do I want to use this? Now your teacher might have uh, different preferences than what I'm asking my students to do, but here's a general guideline. I think that a lot of people would say, well, that's, that's an okay guideline to be using. Again, your teacher might, ha uh, might set slightly different values where they want you to use it and where they don't, uh, but here's, here's one uh, that we can use. What I tell my students, if we are numbers over 1,000, let's go ahead and use scientific notation, or if we're under 1 1,000th. So again, 10 to the 3 I like to think of as a cutoff. If you have a number that's going to be larger than 10 to the 10 to the 3rd, let's go ahead and put that in scientific notation. If it's smaller than 10 to the 3rd, I think you can go ahead and write that in standard notation. 556, for example, let's just go ahead and write that as 556. Um, if we're smaller than 1 1,000th, uh, smaller than 10 to the minus 3, also again, let's go ahead and put that in science, scientific notation. Uh, now, what's the general form for scientific notation? The general form will be A times 10 to the B. Now, here are some key things that you need to know. A, this is a number which is called the significant. Now, here are some rules for the significant. This is also called sometimes the mantissa. It needs to be at least 1. It has to be under 10. All right? So, it has to be at least 1. It must be under 10. Uh, now, the exponent, the power here that we're going to be using, these will need to be integers. So we would want to have 10 to the third or 10 to the fourth. We don't want to be using uh, 10 to the 3.5 or 10 to the 4.6. If you have that type of uh, situation where maybe you're uh, doing some pH calculations where you're taking uh, 10 to the negative pH to find the hydrogen ion concentration, Go ahead and pl plug that into your calculator and convert it to the standard scientific notation form. Uh, let's take a look now at a couple of examples. Here's a, a number that we've seen previously. Uh, it's a number of micrograms that we calculated in a conversion. We want to go ahead and convert this to scientific notation. So it's not there, but let's go ahead and put the decimal in. And all we need to do now is to count over how many places would we move the decimal to produce a number which is going to give us a significant, which is at least 1, but less than 10. Let's move the decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We've moved the decimal 8 places over. So this is giving us information about writing our number in scientific notation. So there's our significant, 2.4. This is going to be multiplied by 10 to a power. We counted out that value. We said that it was eight places over. So our scientific notation number will be 10 to the eight. Because this is a very big number, our exponent will be a positive integer. So we're gonna leave it as 2.4 times 10 to the eight. Let's go ahead and put that unit back on just to make sure we're including that. And there we go. That's how we would write this number in scientific notation if we're provided the standard notation. Now, let's look at a reverse example. Here, we're given a number in scientific notation. We want to convert this and write it in standard notation. Uh, so I have 1.5 times 10 to the minus 5 megaseconds. I want to write this in standard notation. So here's my process. I'm going to go ahead and write the 1.5. And I'm going to leave the unit megaseconds. Now, my exponent here is negative 5. This means, actually, to write in standard notation that I need to move the decimal five places over. And I need to produce a small number because negative exponents mean small numbers less than 1. So that means I'm going to need to move my decimal this direction, right? So I move it over one spot, and I'm stuck, right? So what do I need to do? I need to add some zeros. Now we've moved it two, three, four, and now five. One final note about writing numbers like this in standard notation. Not everybody's picky about this, but technically we always want to include that zero to the left of the decimal so that we record it like this. My final step that I'm going to do right now is to go ahead and just erase 
We'll just clean that up a little bit. So we have a value that we're going to write as 0.000015 megaseconds.